Hi everyone, I'm Neta and this is the WeChat tutorial. WeChat is a social media platform mostly common in China. We use it to chat with our friends, to read their posts, and to follow official accounts. Today, I will teach you how to translate the information inside the WeChat into your own language. So let's start! I will show you now how to translate a sentence inside your WeChat uh, using a private chat or group chat. So first of all, go to your WeChat, then go to chats. Now choose a chat or look for a sentence you want to translate and press on it. There is an open bar you can see, translate. Press on the translate. I will show you now how to translate a sentence inside your moment. So first of all, go to your WeChat, then Go to your moment on the upper side of the screen, press on it. Look for a sentence you wish to translate. Chinese, you want to translate? Translate. And you can press on the text and do untranslate. This is it. Go to your widget. Then go to an image with Chinese character inside. I already saved an image inside my favorite. Find a nice image with a Chinese character inside article about love. So I will go to the image and I will press on the image. If it is, you can see many Chinese characters. Press on the image. Now you will see an option translate image text. Press on it and look what happened. It was Chinese and now it's English. Now that you know how to translate a text and a widget moment, let me show you how to find and translate an article and official account. I'm going to show you now how to find and translate an article inside the WeChat. Go to WeChat, go to Discover, then go to Search. Now you have Moments, Articles and Official Account. You can type anything in the search and it will find you all the three options or to search directly for articles. So I want an article, I want a subject, Handa. So you can write any subject you want to read about. And they have a few articles about Handa. There is an option to do a filter and to see recently viewed or official account you follow or shared by friend. I want recently viewed. Okay. So now let's go to the three dots above and translate. Unable to translate again later? No, I will try now. Unexpectedly, the foreign epidemic has affected our national treasure panda. Wow, so this article is about two pandas, Da Mao and Ershun, that are coming from China to China early. Affected by the new coronavirus, it's out to get enough fresh bamboo in Canada Zoo. The outbreak has prevented the zoo from bringing enough fresh bamboo twice a week. Today we announced that the giant pandas Elsun and Damao will be sent back to their hometown and bamboo reach China. Here this is Trudeau, the Canada Prime Minister. And it's very interesting to read the Chinese people's comments. For example, Lilian said, All the pandas in the world are from China. All the pandas you see in foreign countries are on loan for the time being. No kidding. <laughs> This still speaks Sichuanese. See, it's very nice and you can see some Chinese comments. Now let's go back. And I would like to share with you now official account. So I can go directly to official account. Or I can show you another way. Go to contacts and official accounts. Press on the official account. Let's choose account from outside. If you want account from outside, press on the plus. Uh, many companies and brands have official accounts, so let's choose Adidas. Here we can see the main page, you can see the post below and the title. Let's go to the title to see the details of this account. Okay, so first of all, you can see the orange uh, with a V. This is a company, a registered company. A ID and the name inside the WeChat. And on the downside, they have a phone number for contact. Let's go back. Scroll down and choose a nice uh, post. I will choose this option and now go to translate. Let's see. Unable to translate. Okay. Press again three dots and translate. Again, there is a problem. Uh oh. 
There is a problem again and again. Do you have any idea what can I do now? So I have an answer for you. My personal tip is to download an app called Pleco. Let me show you how to use it. So if there is a problem with translation, choose a sentence you want to translate, then copy it. You can copy to go Google Translate, of course, but I want to show you how to use an app that's called Pleco, which is also a dictionary. And that way you can also practice your Mandarin. And I hope it, this is relevant for you. So go to Pleco and press on it and you will see option of clip reader. Press on it. This is past it to the clip reader. Now you have a full sentence that you just copied and press a word by word and you can see the translation and that way you can understand the meaning of the sentence that you just copied. But guys, this is the long and hard way, but this is the best way for people like me that would like to practice their Mandarin. The easy and fast way is of course Google Translate. I would like to go back and check out another official account, the company H&M. So let's write H&M and we'll choose a post. And I hope that this time we, we could translate the post. So let's press on it. Okay, I have here many Chinese character. Let's press trans translate. Translating, wait for it. So this article is surprisingly about the financial department of H&M and they give us a free tour inside our financial department. This is very creative. I would like to show you how to scan an image and to translate it directly from your mobile. Go to the contacts, then press on the upper side on the plus. Now in the middle you will see scan, press on the scan. Now put the camera in front of a product, go to item in the middle. First of all, we just scanned, uh, scanned an item, a product, and the WeChat find out information about this product via the WeChat. So let's go back and go to translate. Now focus your camera on the product and press photo. Take a photo. So we can see that it translated Chinese character into English. The translation is so-so, but we can understand the basic meaning. This is Chinese tea, where I can see the word tea. So this is a great feature and you should try it. You can scan product or newspaper. Try this out. Being able to translate from Mandarin into your own language is a great opportunity to explore the original Chinese social media and understanding the local trends. Therefore, knowing a few words will do the trick, especially today when translation is so easy. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. Have a great day. Zaijian!